busted. An officer caught on camera stealing, not once, but time and time again. I-Team reporter Jason Law with a story you'll see only on 9 on your side. Jason? This officer works inside of the Hamilton County Courthouse, so he sees people coming in and out, people who have been accused of breaking the law. Well, the I-Team uncovered video of this officer also breaking the law, not once, but several times. Forty-three-year-old Richard Fry walks into his neighborhood grocery store one Saturday afternoon. He goes to the beer aisle and picks up a case of Miller, grabs a bag of ice, and then it's on to the self-checkout lane to pay. Fry picks up the case of beer and appears to scan it in at the register, but he doesn't. He's ringing up a single beer that costs a dollar and walking out with a $24 case. According to the police report, each case has two barcodes. One reads case code, the other says bottle code. Fry was even warned by a Remke clerk in September to stop scanning the wrong one. But he didn't stop. Police found video evidence Fry cheated the system at least six other times. What makes this case of theft so unusual is that Richard Fry works for the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. He's a court service officer. We went to the courthouse and Fry was there in uniform working security at the front lobby. He has not been suspended or disciplined. His supervisor told the I-team an internal investigation is ongoing. We tried to speak with Fry. He didn't want to talk. So how did workers inside the Remke figure out what Fry was doing? Well, a manager told me that Fry was using his Remke card when he made his purchases. So it was easy to go back and look at his transactions and then match them up with the surveillance video. The report says when officers confronted him about the beer, Rick became teary-eyed and told the officer he did something stupid. Court records show the Harrison Police Department and prosecutor charged Fry with one count of misdemeanor theft. The officer's punishment? Diversion, which means after he pays a $300 fine and completes 40 hours of community service, the charge will be dropped. Harrison's prosecutor, Bill Dieters, told the I-team Richard Fry was not given preferential treatment. Dieters said Fry was offered the diversion program like any other first-time offender. It's a system that's there for people who kind of make a mistake. The I-team showed the case to criminal defense attorney Rick Scott and asked him if the punishment fit the crime. Now, does this look a little fishy that, you know, he did this and, and he got diversion? Well, if you don't know and you're not a part of the system every day, yeah, it probably does to the average person. But to someone like me, and after I've explained it to you, it's typical. I think it's silly that somebody would, would jeopardize their freedom to get a case of beer at a super discounted price. A fry could have been charged with seven counts of theft, so why was he only charged with one? Harrison prosecutor told me that Remke agreed to only go after one count of theft if Fry agreed to pay back all the money in beer that he stole. We're live tonight. Jason Law, not on your side. Thank you, Jason. The I-Team, by the way, started looking into this story because of a tip from a viewer. So if you have a story you think the I-Team should look into, you can contact them by emailing iteam at wcpo.com.